And how are you feeling to know that you have won this tremendous prize from our company? Well, I'm a little uh, kind of dumbfounded and shocked at the same time. I see, I see. Well, it's your right to be a bit skeptical and dumbfounded of what's going on, but it's our right to make sure that we explain to you of what's going on and the importance of what's here in state because our company, we're not here to build your expectation to break it down. We're talking about millions of dollars that's about to be yours. Okay. We're not in a position to build your expectation to break it down when we're talking about this amount of money that mm -hmm. should be paid out by our facility, you understand? Sure. All right. Well, I am one of the general managers here in board trying to put together a delivery for you. You have to know if you're fully interested in stepping forward and claiming your pride. Okay. Or are you interested in claiming your two, uh, $28.9 million that's here for you? Yeah. Um, um, your brand new machine. Okay. That'd be Wonderful. great. So all, all you would have to do, as I stated, your pride, we should be having a delivery done for you tomorrow first thing. If you should have your claimer's registration completed today, a delivery should be carried out for you tomorrow around 10 o'clock in the morning because we will be arriving at the closest airport here in your area. Are you going anywhere tomorrow? No, no, I'll be at home. I mean, yeah, at the address, Pillar Street. Okay, wonderful. And do you still work at this time? I'm sorry? You still work at this time? Yes, I do. Okay, wonderful. And how many persons we should be expected to see at your home tomorrow? Just one, just me. Oh, you live by yourself? Currently. Okay. I just kicked well, my girlfriend out. Be signing up a delivery form before you call the office so we can know how you want your prize to be made out for you. So give me a second. Hold on. Now listen very carefully. These are questions about the materialization of your prize and how you would like it to be conducted tomorrow. So the first question that we have here in file, would you like a private and confidential delivery or would you like this to be public and broadcast on the media and also in the magazine? Uh, let's make it private. Private and confidential. Yeah. Okay, now it's classified here in our company once we sign for a private and confidential delivery no information on your prize would be announced to the general public. And a week or two after you've received your award, it would be provided to the uh, public, but it would be anonymous. We, we, we wouldn't put your photos. We would put your first or last name along with the city, the state it has been won from, and the details of what you have won, understand? Yes. Okay. And also what I need to know, for the $28 million that you've won, the Bank of America, they're the one responsible for it. And here in Folly, they give you options with two different types of payout. Now, you could receive this all at once tomorrow, which you would be getting a check under your name for the $28,900,000. Or you could receive a monthly payment. Now, a monthly payment would be said where you would have to sign a beneficiary just in case anything should happen to you. But you would be receiving $60,000 each and every month from Bank of America until your money is fully cleared. Which one of those options would you prefer? I prefer the lump sum. The lump sum, wonderful. And at this time, what is the name of the bank you do business with? Just the name we need to know and how far you live from that bank, you would be taking your check tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a First Farmers? First Farmers. How far you live from that bank? Uh, about half a mile. About half, so you're pretty close. And do you know what time they normally open on a daily basis and normally close? I think uh, eight in the morning. Eight in the morning, okay, wonderful. Okay, now you did said a while ago you still work, and what type of work do you do at this time? Well, I mean, I'm just doing some side jobs, but I'm not working full time. Oh, I see, I see. All right, well, I, well, that's why this opportunity is here. It's not a rational, this is not a coincidence, sir. We're doing our job, and in life, miracles could do happen, but if you don't have information of what's going on, 
that's how you're going to be confused. So we don't want you to be confused when you're in a position that could change your life forever and also the way you live right now. So I want you to understand that we're not going to put you in a position where you're going to regret anything. The great Lord will answer your prayers, but we have to be the ones who believe and have faith in something and willing to make the sacrifice for that change. All right, so we're here to make sure that you understand the requirements that would be needed. All right? Okay. All right. And also at this time, do you know what here your driver's license is going to be closed? What year my driver's license is going to be closed? Yes, expired, where you have to renew it. Oh, I believe uh, 2026. 2026? Yeah. Okay. Now, which airport would be closer, the one in Jackson or the one in Nashville? Um, probably Jackson. Jackson, okay. All right. Do you know the McKellar Spikes Regional Airport? Uh, I haven't been there, but I think I've heard about it. You know there? Yeah. Okay, well, that's why I'm, I'm going to sign that one so we could use that one for the shipment of the car because we have our flight conduct, which would be escorting the car because the car is coming from California. And the best way to get it over there is by flight. So we're going to have to use that airport. So we got to make sure that we set things up for from today so we could be there from today. Now... We want to make sure definitely you don't have any plans or anything cut out that's important for you tomorrow because you know your health is most important. You said you have no doctor's appointment tomorrow, right? No, no, I'm good. Okay, you're good. All right, wonderful. Now, is there any questions that you would like to ask me at this time, Ken? No, not really. I just, uh, I like to see my money at this point. That'd be great. Okay, wonderful. Well, I do want you to understand there would be a governmental claimers card that you would have to pick up. And this card is not for free. You would have to get it registered under your name because you're getting a speech takes award. But those symptoms will be explained to you because it's a procedure that you got to follow, okay? Okay. All right. Now, seeing you're in a documentation, you've never won a six before. Is that right? Nope. Now, let me explain to you. Now, once you have won a sweepstakes here in America, there will be governmental registration tax that would be needed. On behalf of our company, the Mega Millions, and also a claimer's fee required by the recipient. Now, the claimer's fee would be an automatic payment that would be taken out of the check whenever you make a deposit. But there would be a card, the identification registration card that you need towards the signing for your prize and also that you would need your ID to sign for the prize as a breach of identification of yourself. Now, also, you're going to need your claim number to put on the contract because this is stamp on all of your documents here at the company. But the card that I'm explaining to you about, it's a card that you need to go to the registration office with your ID and get it paid for. Once you pay for it, it's yours. They would provide it to you. You would have to go on to it. You cannot give anyone it until the delivery team gets there tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right. Very good. So how far you said you're away from the McKellar Regional Airport? Um, I don't know, about uh, 10, 15 miles. 10, 15 miles. Okay, wonderful. Here. Okay. This is your cell phone, right? Or your landline? Uh, so. This is your cell. Do you have a landline? No. Okay. I know a question here in the file. Who would be your beneficiary in the file? Um, I wouldn't have one. You don't want one? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put it here and there. Do you have a uh, legal trust fund set up for your family, spouse, children, or anyone? No. Okay, you know that's a good thing to set up. You got to set it up when you get this money, right? Sure. You know that, right? Yeah. Do you have any kids? Do you have any kids? No kids. No kids. You're not married right now, you said. You're not married, correct? Single. Single. Okay. What are you planning to do 
with this $28 million when you get it, Kenny? Well, uh, use it for one, and uh, I don't really have anybody to allot it to when I pass away, but uh, I guess uh, maybe I'll, yeah. it'll just go back to the state if I don't have anybody to give it to. Right. Very good, very good. Well, your plans come when you have the money in your bank, so that's what we're trying to get to you right now. So what I need to say is a tremendous congratulations to you and Nothing is never wrong with a bit more money. It's just what you plan to do it and the intentions that you have. So hope your intentions are productive and pure. You plan to do some good with this money when you get it. So what what would be needed right now? You need your claimers card. Have I explained to you your governmental claimers card towards signing for the package tomorrow? Now stated that we would be setting the flight for a department. We would be arriving in uh jackson around uh nine so we're gonna have to push that schedule up because most of our delivery team or time zone is quite different if you understand so you know we're gonna have to move out earlier so we're gonna be there the earliest at uh, jackson around nine o'clock so we're gonna have to push push your delivery for around 11 12 o'clock you should be there at your residence okay correct? yeah that's fine uh -huh. Wonderful. Now I'm going to be providing you with the amounts of funds that you would be needing. So you could go down to the registration office and pick up your claimers card. Now remember this card that you would be picking up. You won't give anyone. You would hold on to it. Keep it safe. Put it in your wallet or somewhere excessive. So whenever the delivery team arrives tomorrow, you could sign for your money and also your car. Now the amount that would be needed for your registration four hundred and fifty dollars four fifty okay that's all you would need and you would have to take your id or your driver's license with you when you go to the office to make sure you get your card picked up so you would have to hold on to that card so when the delivery team arrive and they take that card from you it corresponds with what you have there all right okay so you need the id and did you say driver's license no, either one. Either one you could use. You could okay. use your ID to go and get this card, or you could use your driver's license. Okay. Okay. And you have both, right? Yep. Okay, wonderful. Now, that's all that would be required of you, and I'm going to be providing you with the name of the card that you would be asking for. Okay. And you let me know if you're familiar with that card, okay? You, you, have, you write this down, okay? Okay. Oh, name of the card is called a one gift card. Do you know it's a one vanilla gift card? One vanilla gift card? Yes. Uh, no, I never heard of it. What is it? One vanilla gift card. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes. You never, you never bought this card before. You never use it. No. Before? Uh. Uh. No. A prepaid card. We have to. It's like a prepaid card, so we have to register it on your files for the license of your prize. So that's why it has to correspond. You cannot get a different one once you give us this one because it has to correspond with what we've registered on your file. Okay. Right. Keep it safe because the delivery team they would be calling you around 11 as soon as they're at the airport they would call you mm -hmm. or when they're close to your address they would be calling you to let you know that they're close by so you have to put your things together like your claim your claim number and your id or your driver's license now okay. remember have i told you this is a private delivery so upon the arrival of the delivery there should be two state marshals from your three or from your county the four members from my delivery team one would be the truck driver escorting your mercedes that would be on a flat back record truck it's going to be completely covered down there also will be a accountant representing bank of america to sign over the check to you but have i told you they would they would provide you with a contract you find your claim number your signature and they would ask you for your card your one vanilla card and you would provide it to them to verify the payout to make sure that you're the correct person. 
Now, once they have done that, they would hand you the official check. There would be a big display check, but that would be for you to take photos with, along with standing beside your car. After they have provided you with your cashier's check for the $28 million, they would ask you one question, and that would be the name of the bank you want to make a deposit so they could accompany you to the bank. Now, once they accompany you to the bank, that's when your bank is going to know that you're a sweepstake winner because they're going to be signing a contract along with providing them with your contract from the sweepstakes so you can make that deposit. Now, once you make the deposit, the automatic taxes that I told you that would be taken out, that would be a 10%. So approximately uh, $2,890,000 will be taken out of the price. So the rest would be yours. All right? Okay. Do you have any questions? I'm going to, am I going a bit too fast? Is there anything you're not understanding? Um. So the vanilla gift card, what, um, how does that work? Okay, now the vanilla gift card, it has a registration account number on it. We have to sign that on your paperwork. There's an expiry and a PIN. That's what we're going to be signing on your documents. Now, once, once that has been done, it's systematic. They work with computers. It would be approving the delivery for giving us to go ahead. That's why we would need you to go and obtain it so we can and once we have done that, it's our job to ensure that you receive your delivery because all expenses have been taken care of by the Mega Millions Sweepstake Committee, which they're responsible for setting up your delivery. The only thing you're responsible is getting your claimer's card obtained. When you want... apply the claim on your package, that's when we're going to get the go ahead to have your package been delivered out. But that's why we wanted you to obtain your card from today so we could start moving things forward which the car would be shipped over from California to Tennessee by today, which only thing we would have to do is to wait for your documents to be signed up by the state official so that the delivery could be organized and official. All right? Okay, so where do I get the vanilla gift card at? Okay. Now, you could get the one vanilla gift card. You could get it obtained at a Dollar General. Do you know where to find a Dollar General? Oh yeah, they're everywhere. Or a 7-Eleven gas station. Which one would be closer, Dollar General, 7-Eleven? Definitely Dollar General. Dollar General. How far is Dollar General away from you? Uh, they're everywhere, actually. Okay, I see. All right, well, that's where you would go and get your one vanilla gift card for the $450 and head back home. You would call the claims department in Coward to do the registration of your cards. To call them, they would ask you for your claim number. They would ask you to speak say if you're, if you're calling about a claim, they would register your car for you. That's apply the information contract. So once everything is within, the team would be organized for the presentation. And have I told you, Two weeks after you're receiving the prize, it's going to be announced. But we're not going to put your photo. You might put your first or your nickname recommended, along with the details of what you've won from our grand raffle for the uh, New Year's and Christmas special. So I just want to make sure that you understand fully of how things should be taken place, should be done. No. And this, this is everything that I've been explaining to you. That's how it should be taking place tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds okay. good. That sounds good. I, I don't have a lot of time. I got to run here, but uh, I, I'll stop by Dollar General on the way and get my vanilla, vanilla gift card. All right. And you can call the office if you're not getting through with the anyone there. They're busy. You can call about this number. You okay. want to take my number down, or you did I give you my number? No, not yet. Go ahead. Okay. It's seven seven three. Okay. Nine nine two. Okay. Nine three one five. Okay, I got it. Wonderful. Awesome. So you have a blessed day now, and congratulations once more. And remember, wear your seatbelt. Nothing is in life is a rush. You take your time and no rope. I'll be watch out for those crazy drivers on the road. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Have a blessed day now. You too. I speak to you later. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.
Wow. That's the biggest, I've longest never, in depth scam I've ever heard. I've of never, I mean, I've heard about stuff like that, but I've never, like, known how they do it. I heard about something like that on the news it. the other day. Huh? I heard about something like that on the news the other day. Some guy had to go down and buy gift cards, all these, like, hundreds of dollars, oh, thousands yeah, of dollars that's in right. gift cards. Remember that? Yeah, he was calling on behalf of the, the Mount Juliet. The police department. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Mount Juliet, yeah. That's crazy. That is, wow. That's nuts. <laughs> Harden, Harden seems really impressed. Harden was hoping to get some of your $28 million. <laughs> <laughs> Harden's already got $28 million. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of a scam that, that in-depth? I thought it was going to be over in like, you know, a minute. That was, and that's, it just it's, kept it's, going it's brainwashed. That's what it is. It, they brainwash it. Well, they're they trying to make it sound so legitimate. Yeah. Like so legitimate. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, well, it was kind of like, yeah. but then as soon as he said the gift card part, I was like, yeah, that sounds like one of those scams I yeah, heard about on the news the other day. <laughs> but he wasn't laughing or anything. He was professional. And... He sounded really legit, like, because yeah. he wasn't Nigerian, it's right? So that's a good start. A that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't forget to wear your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> and then he even brought God into it also. <laughs> I know. You know? Oh, All right, man. let's.